Welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how I created this golden spiral. I'll scroll down, you can see I've got the golden ratio to three decimal places typed there. First I'll start with a square, rectangles tool and control shift for a square, so something like that. And I'll control D to duplicate that, just drag it off to the side. And I want to multiply this one's width by 1.618 so up here, I don't want to constrain the proportions yet, I'll take that lock off if it's uh, on in the width I'll just multiply by 1.618 and enter and so that's an approximation to a golden rectangle ok, back to the square select that, control C I want to create a circle E for the ellipsis tool control shift, drag out a circle edit paste size, paste size, and that's now the same width as the square. But I want to double that. So with it selected, I will now constrain the proportions with this padlock, and in here I'll go asterisk 2 or multiply by 2, and enter. Now that's uh, twice the size of the square. But I'm going to start there. You can see I moved this uh, circle into position, so it's uh, one of its nodes locked onto the corner of the square and it's important that I had uh, snap cusp nodes there and uh, you might need to put some of these others on but uh, that seemed to work for me and with the circle selected in for the node tool I'm going to drag see if I drag on the outside the sector is completed but I'll drag on the inside and hold down control so it locks to 15 degree increments and now with this one control produce that arc there. Back to the select tool and with that selected I might give that a colour. Let's make this blue in this case, shift and blue and I'm going to now group this square with the arc in it. So marquee around it all, control G to group. OK. Now I'm going to drag that into this corner here. I'm going to work within the, this uh, golden rectangle. Now I'll control D to duplicate that and drag it off and I'll use this uh, right hand of the rotation 90 degree clockwise tool and I'll drag that so it snaps there. Now this corner that's outside the golden rectangle I'll hold down control to constrain proportions and drag this in till it snaps to the path of the golden rectangle. Control D to duplicate that, rotate it and we'll join it up but again the corner that's outside control drag to get into there we keep doing that control D rotate drag into that position the corner that's outside the uh, dividing line there control drag it back in control D rotate connect drag back in so it's not crossing any lines control D rotate, connect, if it gets a bit hard it's not connecting right zoom in, mouse wheel and control and control drag that in I'll do one more, control D, rotate join, control to drag up there, now you can keep going for quite a while but uh, there's how we get a golden spiral if you want to change the colours change the width of the colours you can click see I'm actually that's the group control Z control click on the uh, curve and shift click to change its color I'll control Z but with it selected one way to select them all is to go to edit select same stroke color and it'll select all of those and you can shift click change it to red perhaps with it selected you can click stroke style and perhaps increase the width if you wanted to do that so there's one way to create a golden rectangle Hope you enjoyed that and thanks again for watching.